welcome back to my channel. I'm Betsy and I'm a clothing reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. And I have another box to open with you. Uh, this is Boutique by the Box. This was their Stitch Fix box. There were 40 items in the box. And I do know the cost of goods this time. Um, the cost of goods for everything was $5. Now, according to this, um, they're either new with tags or new without tags and they may have some flaws because you know they've been tried on obviously but I'm hoping for the best I figured that a $5 uh, cost of goods was probably a fairly good deal um, the overall value of things in this box are probably according to the website under $60 but that's okay so let's get started this is the first of two boxes. I got brave and I bought a second one. So I'll be opening the second one probably tomorrow just because I can't wait. All right, so here's the box. Uh, let me get this open. I don't know where you guys are, but it's been so hot here the past few days. This is actually um, around 6 o'clock, 6.30 in the evening, and I can actually be outside here without sweating to death. sheet that lets me know that I have a total of 80 items. There are 40 items in each box. So I'm hoping for some good stuff. Since this is really big, I'm just going to tilt the uh, camera down. So this is what it looks like. I have the boutique by the box paper. And this is what I see. And there's some really cute stuff. Got my fingers crossed. As always with these mystery boxes, you just never know what you're going to get. Oh, also, one of the reasons that I bought this is because they said that it was heavy on large and plus sizes, which is great because I don't really have a lot of that inventory. If you remember, if you've seen some of my other videos, I've been getting tons of smalls and extra smalls, so I'm really hoping that I get some good sizes. All right. First thing is really cute doesn't have a tag but it's just a little ruffle top and it's by Fortune and Ivy and it's really cute it's a medium so that is good so the first one is looking promising second item is days it's brand new uh, little pair of shorts this is size 25 so so far we haven't seen any plus sizes Size 25, new with tags. They're stretchy. They're cute. I don't think I ever fit into a 25. All right. This is Nine Britain. This is an extra, extra large. Yay. And it's so cute. It's a little, it's a little top. Floral. It's got um, little short sleeves, smocking around the neck. And it's got a tie, which I'm trying, I think that's the back. I'm sorry, there's a little breeze out here. Yeah, there's a little tie across the back. So this is the back, this is the front. Um, this is just absolutely adorable. There's, oh, there is a tag. Yeah, these are, um, it's a Stitch Fit Fix brand, Nine Britain. Okay, so that is adorable. Okay, we have a nice, uh, nice floral top right here. This is really cute too. I love the smock. It's really adorable. I like the puppy sleeves. This is um, size extra large. And there doesn't, is there a brand? This is Mason and Bell. And found on the Stitch Fix website. This is super cute. I like this. So I'm happy with everything so far, but we've only gotten four pieces out of the box. This is Vigos, Vigos shorts. I um, had a pair of um, jeans by them that kind of sat in my closet forever. This is the Marley Mid-Rise in a teeny tiny size 24. We have another floral here. I'm just liking this. This is Daniel Rain. I have had it two Daniel Rain pieces in my closet that have been sitting and sitting and sitting for months. But this is super cute. So. 
Maybe I will be able to sell this a little bit more quickly. This is um, an extra small, but it looks like it has some stretch. So I think somebody just a little larger would be able to fit into that. All right, this is Foundest in a size medium. This is just a uh, ribbed gray top, short sleeve, you know, nothing special. There are no tags, but I can I can tell this is this is new. It doesn't feel like anybody's worn it. Next up, we have Fortune and Ivy, and this is a cute little top. It's got like crochet lace for the shoulders, little cap sleeves. It's really cute. This is a small, and so far, we're getting a lot of smalls. Right, this is, this is cute too, this is a little off the shoulder, this is a large, yay, and this is by Brea Canyon, and this looks like it's a little small, I think this is kind of a small, large, but it's off the shoulder, it's really cute, it's got the elastic on the bottom, uh, what's this? This is flag and anthem. This is a size medium. Again, a little smocked collar, which can be worn on or off the shoulder. Pretty, um, pretty blue pattern. It's got little dark little flowers in it. That's adorable. So far, I like everything I've gotten. All right, this is the general good, size large. This is just a cute little tank top. It's got a keyhole in the front. Um, this is, again, I think this runs small. What's this? This is nice. This is, again, another Daniel Rain. This one's in a large. Another little tank top with some crochet lace in the front. And here's the back. There's a little strip of lace down the back. This is adorable. I love this print. All right. I love all the prints in this box. This is really cute. This is Nine Britain, and this is an extra, extra large, and it's a cute little strappy tank top. Very adorable. I'll definitely be able to sell this. This is really nice. You know, it's, I don't know why it's so hard to get plus size clothes from these mystery boxes. You would think that there would be more. This is Colette. No tags. It's a uh, sweet little t-shirt. There's no size either. Let me see if there's anything on the inside. Um, this is a size small. Polyester. Size small. I think this would fit a medium. This is a little oversized. All right, this is Judy Blue. Yay, I like Judy Blues. This is 1331. So this is a good size. This is a junior's um, button front. I'm not too crazy about button front jeans. They're frankly they're kind of a pain in the butt to put on. But there you go. They've got the raw hems. So yeah, it's a decent size. I found Judy Blue's thrifting, and unfortunately, they're like in super small sizes. And like Dummy Me picks them up, and now they're still in my closet on Poshmark, just languishing. Cosmic Blue Love in a size 25. Okay. I might have to lot up some of these size 25 shorts. I did that with the, uh, I got a whole bunch of size zero J Crew shorts in my J Crew box, which I still haven't posted. I lotted them up and uh, I sold them as a lot and it worked out really well. All right, this is another Daniel Rain. You know, Daniel Rain doesn't sell very well, but I mean, these, these tops are super cute. So I'm hoping that this is another size uh, petite, extra small. There better be some bigger sizes. All right, this is Pink Clover. 
They're really nice and soft. This again is a small, but it's uh, it's oversized. This could definitely fit a medium and it's stretchy. Another size 25 pair of shorts. This again is causing me to love. These are cute. Yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna lot up the small, um, the small ones. I've got so much small and extra small, I can't stand it. Fortune and Ivy, this is a really, really pretty, it's kind of like a spring green color. I don't know if that comes through, but it's got the nice detail in the back. It's nice and stretchy. Um, yeah, I was gonna say you could wear this off the shoulder, but I don't think you can. But regardless, it's a nice top. Wondering, did I get this before? No. This is something. What are you? Okay, this is lush in a size large, and it's just a little, uh, it's just a little crossover surplus top. It ties on the side. It's cute. I like it. No tags, but it feels brand new. All right, this looks like some active wear. This is uh, MPG, which for me has never been a wonderful brand. This is in a size large, which is good, and it's um, it's a pretty pink. It's got a built-in shelf bra. It goes this way. Yeah, it's nice. I do love the color, so I think this will be good. This material doesn't really feel very nice. It's kind of that, I don't know, it's textured polyester, but I'm not sure this would be so comfortable to wear. This is fun to run in extra small. Lucky me. It's just a little blouse. Um, I don't know. I might send that, send that to thread up just because I'm not sure I want to deal with it. All right, this again is, oh, this is Daisy and Delilah. I thought it was Dan in the rain. This is an extra large, yay. Oh, this is really cute too. It's just a little crop top. It's got the little floaty stuff on the bottom. I guess you could wear this off the shoulder. Yeah, it's cute. I like that. Um, what's this? I feel like I got one. Yeah, I, I have another one of these. This is Lush again in a large. Actually, I think that might not be the same as this. It just looks like the same fabric. It's just got a little button up front. There's the back. Good size. Uh, this is another Daniel Rain. This one again is a petite extra small. Yuck. But it's cute. A little tank top. This again is oversized. It'll probably fit a medium. These are Threads for thought, some leggings. These are cute, they're a cute little green color. These are small, ethically made from sustainable materials. Save the planet. This is another Fortune and Ivy. Yeah, this is a good size. A pretty top, whoops, not holding that up right. Looks like it's ruched in the front. No, it's just kind of gathered on the bottom, and it's got the pretty lacy sleeves. This will be nice for fall. It's a good, it's a good fall color. Okay, this is Bruce Gwen. This is a cute little animal print. It is a turtleneck, and it is a size large. Again, this will again be good for the fall. It's really cute. Very stretchy. I might fit an extra large too. Corduroy shorts. And again, these would be really nice for the fall. Thank goodness they're a medium. Oh, it's a little skirt. That's cute. The button front. Is the button missing? No. Yeah, this will sell. Fall is coming. <laughs> All right, this is size six. These are democracy. Does this have the ab technology? You know, it doesn't say that it does, but it's got that um, 
the same kind of elastic in the front that the Democracy with App technology has. And those tend to sell really well for me, especially in the larger sizes. Yeah, this is cute. All right, this is small. This is size zero. All right, 1822 vintage denim. Locking those up all together so somebody can buy on all the size 25s. This is West K in a small. Um, this fabric doesn't really feel good again. It's that kind of crunchy polyester, so I think that might go to um, thread up. A pair of jeans. This is again another pair of Vigos jeans. These are Royce 70s, and these are in a 29, so it's got to be a decent size. And these are nice because they're wide leg and belled. So these will definitely sell if anybody wants Vigos jeans. That's not a really sought after brand, but. All right, we have, what are you? Cosmic Blue Love in an extra small. Come on, boutique by the box. You said there were plus sizes in here. Um, it's just a little chambray shirt extra small. Again, this is oversized. I mean, definitely a smaller, maybe a medium can fit in that. This is Sanctuary. Size small. Again, just a little top. Nothing special. This is Lush in a size medium. Thank goodness. Oh, I like this. This is cute. It's a little um, tank top. I guess this is supposed to not be loopy when you get it on. Cute. Um, I don't know. That might be thread up or I might list it. I'm not really sure. All right, this is Pink Clover, extra, extra large. Thank you. Pretty sweater. Really nice. I like the button details on the uh, shoulder. Really nice. Very pretty. I will definitely list that. We have two very small looking things left. Oh, I already have one of these. Um, this is Fortune and Ivy in a small. And last but not least, there's little dandelions on it. It's really cute. This is another Daniel Rain. This is probably a petite. Yep, petite small. All right. So. I'm kind of disappointed in the fact that I didn't get larger sizes uh, like they said I would. Um, you know, it's kind of all in the luck of the draw. So I'm hoping that my next box has more plus sizes in it. But I mean, I got nice stuff. Everything looks like it's in really good condition and definitely very sellable. There's a couple of pieces I'm just gonna not bother listing, um, the crinkly polyester ones. So, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take pictures, get these listed, and I'll let you know um, in a few months how I did with this box. I have box number two coming tomorrow. If uh, you ordered the Stitch Fix, Stitch Fix box on Boutique by the Box, it's still on the site, and it's a fairly good price. I mean, you know, five bucks a piece for these things really isn't that bad. I mean, I won't get a ton of money for them, but hopefully I'll make my money back. So it's still on the site if you want to buy it. Anybody who's gotten this box, yeah, let me know um, your size mix just in the comments below. Let me know um, if you did get a lot of plus sizes and larges. I'd be really interested to find out. So opening the next box tomorrow, fingers crossed. Thank you for coming. It's always great to unbox with you. I love it that you're here. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. If you like content like this, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Or just, you know, like my video. All right, that's it, guys. I will see you soon. Happy shopping.